You guys are definitely keeping me accountable. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a extremely productive day so I thought I would vlog to keep myself accountable but also because it is officially one month until my cruise I'm so excited the lighting is very horrible in here today because it's extremely gloomy as you saw in the previous clip while I was eating my breakfast we're just gonna go with it so for anybody who doesn't know my best friend and I are going on a carnival cruise in May it's gonna be my first cruise ever which I'm excited but also very nervous this is a once in a lifetime honestly because for one it's basically free my best friend wanted a casino for two, it is a brand new ship, so, you know, kind of once in a lifetime there. And for three, I'm calling it a once in a lifetime opportunity because I don't know whether I'm going to be a cruise person since I've never been on one before. So I'm going to do make the most of it. And then that way, if I can never go on another one, then, you know, it was, it was a good time and it was worth it. And I've had my fill. So since it is officially one month away, that means I have to start preparing for it. And that is part of what is on my list for today, among so many other things. And so I decided, vlog always keeps me accountable, so let's make it a Monday vlog. My list actually doesn't look like much because there's not much on it, but it's all really big tasks that take a long time. So it is stuff that is going to take lots of concentration. And also my mom has the rest of the week off of work, which means that my abilities in the apartment the rest of the week are going to be limited. So I want to get as much as physically done as possible today 
and I have not only things to do in the apartment, but I also have errands to run, which is why I took my mom to work this morning um, so I could use the car. And then I also have to go and clean for my uncle later. It's just going to be a very, very crazy busy day. And I'm going to try to vlog as much of it as I can to stay accountable. And so you guys can enjoy it. It is currently quarter of nine. I told myself I was going to start my stuff at nine. So I have 15 minutes to sit here and veg for just a little bit longer. And then we're going to get started. I have to first take pictures of the things that were in my live sale that are still available. That is a first priority today. And then after that second priority is getting Lynn's advertising and uh, social media set up because I was going to do it yesterday. And as you saw at the end of the weekly vlog, um, we fought with my tax return for four hours or should say lack thereof because I didn't get any. I got uh, some from state. I got none from federal. And then what I got from state didn't even cover what I had to pay to federal. So we're not happy about that, but we're moving on. So we're going to get some stuff done today and you guys are going to come along with me. So you, if you have a lot of stuff you have to get done, I know it's becoming, it, you know, it's a new season and it's becoming a new season of life. And there's lots of things that most people tend to have on their to-do list at this time of year. So if you have a big long to-do list and you need the motivation to do it, then come along with me during this video and get your stuff done as well. Remember, if you go on to enjoy this video, you give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And if you have not already and you would like to see more content for me hit that subscribe button down below I have plenty of stuff coming I am going to be vlogging the whole cruise and I have another vacation in August plenty of fun things coming up so hit that subscribe button if you want to be aware when that stuff goes up so I will talk to you guys in a little bit once I get these pictures taken I realized I mentioned that I was going to do Lynn's social media stuff and I didn't really explain in this video what that means because a lot of people might not know who Lynn is so if you're new here um welcome and there is an author called Lynn Howard. Um, I am her personal assistant, so I do things like schedule her social media posts, do her advertising. I do a slew of things for her, which you'll see if you stick around. But today I had to do the um, advertising and social media posts scheduling because that's something I usually do on a Sunday. But yesterday, like I said, we spent so much time on the taxes that I just wasn't in the frame of mind to do any work. So I just wanted to get that done early this morning so that I didn't forget or didn't go throughout the week stressing to get the posts scheduled so that is what I meant and I have that all done I have the pictures of everything except the clothes done I will do the clothes a little bit later um it is raining and I have to walk over to my uncle's to go clean so that's gonna be fun but I want to show you guys because it might be gloomy out but oh my god it is so green like just in the last couple of days this has popped out Look at all this greenery, green grass, green trees popping out. I didn't like the heat and the rain is messy, but at least it's bringing the world to life. So I'm going to head over to my uncle's and clean. That should only take about an hour. Then I have to come back and sort of continue the cleaning vibe because I have to prepare this desk back here, which if you're new here, you will not know is called my summer desk because I don't have air conditioning in my bedroom. So in the summer, I have to stay out in the living room to do my work. So I wanna get that prepped because the heat wave that we had was not fun and I, it's not prepared to be used. So I wanna get that prepped and dusted and stuff. So I'm gonna do that when I get back and then I have to get to work.
Okay, I realized while I was cleaning and organizing that I don't think I ever did a desk tour of the summer desk, so let me show it to you. Let me start at the top. The Heartstopper book, which is there as well as this one, just because it's um, <laughs> the same color scheme as everything else. They're good books, but I just left them there because they're the color schemes. Then we have this little turtle and all of my crystals and things. Um, the lamp has a warm light lamp uh, bulb in it. And then this is my brand new candle that my mom bought me last night. Uh, Juicy Couture, Honey Bee, Wild Bee, Creamy Vanilla, and Orange Blossom. Smells amazing, but also goes with the gold elements I have on this desk and has bumblebees on it, which we all know I'm in love with bees lately. Don't know why. Not the real ones, but <laughs> decorative ones. And then we have a couple of uh, vases with pens, the pineapple, gold pineapple with a G on it for Genevieve, um, a little clock here. Uh, that bulb is my extra bulb for the lamp, and that little vase, if you can see, has a B on it as well. And we have the candle lighter in this big, giant purple vase that I found at the dollar store at some point. I didn't get all the dust off of that. Um, and we have this big glass apple just because it's yellow and I thought it was kind of cool because it's a desk and all and when I originally set up the summer desk I was under the impression I was going to be going back to college so that's kind of appropriate but that didn't end up happening because of money again the book is the color scheme we have the candle snuffer that I brought in from the bedroom and this really cool country like purple vase and then that little glass back there just has random little things there's the um USB thing for my tablet, some spray fragrance, stuff like that. So that is the top, and this is in the living room. So, you know, the other stuff is just stuff that my mom puts up, but she put up this picture after I got the summer desk of me and Bestie at Disney World, which I love because it kind of goes with the color scheme. So love that. And then the bottom, on this side, we have a bumblebee that my mom bought me. So cute. We have two vases. This one's pretty much just decorative because it's got the little top thingy. And I was incorporating some green elements recently, which if you've been here for a couple of weeks, you will have noticed. Then we have this with our lovely purple gemstone pen. Um, my little thumper statue that Bestie got me for Christmas. Computer, which is gold, which is why we have the gold elements. Um, purple, green, yellow, pink keyboard and mouse. Little spider guy who was technically a Halloween decoration, but I just thought he was too cute to put away. So we're going to leave him there. Um, staples and paper clips. And then inside this little riser, we have all of my bullet journals now, my to-do lists, tablet, Anything having to do with Lynn's stuff, plus another to-do list because it just didn't fit up there. Post-its, and then this little guy has the stress ball in it, and it's for if I ever just take off my jewelry while I'm sitting here. That way I don't misplace it. And that's the bottom. So it's a pretty simple desk. Um, nothing fantastic, but I love it. And then we have this little tiny stand next to it that just has my um, Grogu statue, my mug that my sister-in-law got me a while back with a spare lighter because sometimes I use the short lighter um, versus the long lighter. So I have one of each, my phone stand, coaster, keyboard, cleaning brush, which you just saw me use, and then just kind of a couple of decorations. Um, why I chose a white and tan scheme over here, I don't know. I just really liked it. So it doesn't really match the desk, but I just really like the way it looks. So that's the tour. And then there's these two footstools, which are usually covered in blankets. This one actually has blankets in it, but that one has office supplies in it that I have not gone through since we put the summer desk up last summer. So that's my next task is going through that. And then this is my uh, bag for when I go out and about. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna switch these because since that one's got office supplies in it, I'd rather it be over here so I can reach it better. Um, but yeah, that's the next task and I've opened the door because it's just far too hot in here. I don't know if there was a stink bug or not. It's not really bringing in much of a breeze anyway, so I'm probably gonna have to turn the fan on, but I would like to prevent turning on the air conditioner. Mischief's 
taking a bath and about to lay down. So he's behaving. Hi. <laughs> and then this is my chair, which I have not fixed the blanket on yet, but this is the other green element that I brought into this summer desk area. How it is already two o'clock in the afternoon, I do not know. Lately, I've been feeling like time just isn't actually a thing. Cause where the heck did the morning go? I mean, oh, so I'm going to put my stuff away, do a quick haul while I do that for you guys. And then I'm gonna have to eat my lunch as I work because time is just getting away from me. So, my lunch, bananas, Cheesy broccoli steamables for our fish dinner tonight. Sunglasses for to clip onto my real glasses so that I can use them for the cruise and any other vacations and whatnot and just every day. Much better than having to worry about buying a pair of sunglasses. Headphones so that I can edit the vlogs easier again because I was trying to do it with no headphones and keeping the voice, the volume low so my mom couldn't hear it. Not fun. More cilantro lime rice, because I have Brussels sprouts in the freezer, and some leftover chicken that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, so we're just gonna make some fun dish. Two boxes of wild mushroom and herb rice that we love to have with dinners. And one box of the same brand rice, but garlic and herb, because sometimes you just don't want mushroom. And then lastly, two cans of tuna. And that's it. 
right, that's all I got. Very small haul, just needed a couple of things we forgot at the grocery store over the weekend. So I am going to chow this down while I work on what I have to work on because <laughs> I've only got about two and a half hours before I have to go get my mom. But I also have to go to UPS still, so I, more like two hours before I have to leave the apartment again. So, yeah. I just got a bacon double cheeseburger and a medium fry, which was free because I used the medium fry, free medium fry for a purchase of any $2 more. And the bacon cheeseburger is $2.69, which is insane. Um, other than that, the other errands I ran was I went to the post office, which is also insane because shipping fees have gone up. I charged five dollars shipping on something and it was actually ten but what are you gonna do i did not get my sweet and sour sauce and my fries so let's see if i have any left over in the fridge i do not so i guess i'm eating them later Seriously, where did the time go? Because I only got one client thing done and it's four o'clock. I got to go to UPS and pick up my package and then pick up my mother. Like, what the heck? How did this time go so fast? I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to get as much done today as I thought I would, but we are making progress and you guys are definitely keeping me accountable. So I'm going to go grab my package, pick up my mom. Then when we come back, I have to work on the other client thing because even though technically my office hours are over, that has to be done today. So I'm going to have to work outside of office hours. It is what it is. Um, it's mostly done, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But as we've seen today, time is irrelevant. Um, and then I have so much other things to do. So we will see what we get up to after dinner. Second client thing is finally done. So now I still have... My writing's gonna have to just get not get done tonight. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow, which it's just gonna have to be good enough because it's just not enough hours in the day. But I still have to edit the vlog that's going up tomorrow. I haven't done a stitch of editing on that, but I can do a little bit of that in the morning too. But I want to get most of it done tonight. And I also really have to make my cruise packing and, and shopping lists because Bestie wants to go over our individual lists this weekend to make sure, you know, we got everything we need and everything so I really got to get that done but before I get into any of that let's open the package finally because I finally got the package okay now that I got you on the tripod let's open the package that is an Amazon package that came through UPS I still don't understand it and there was nothing they could do about it they basically just told me to wait and pick it up when it was ready and I didn't really care that I was pissed off about it. But what are you going to do? I got it. Let's just hope everything is okay. Especially since it's been sitting there for four days. Because if it's not, it's going back. So, firstly, firstly I got some underwear, which you guys don't need to see. But I also got, I think a lovely package coming in. I got... Something I've been wanting for a while because if you haven't seen it been going around the internet um, it has recently been learned that if you do not cut your wicks off of your candles they can start a fire so I got a wick cutter I try to use uh, regular scissors and it works but the problem is is that the wicks kind of go everywhere because when the scissors clip together it kind of it creates a projectile so it's better if you use an actual wick cutter so I got this nice black one thought it would go with every scheme I have in here every color scheme um, and see what happens is you clip the wick and then it has like a little beveled part where the wick goes so that you can easily dispose of it so I got that um, I did just learn because I thought I couldn't find this anywhere locally but I did just learn that Yankee Candle does carry these. However, it is about two and a half, no, actually it's probably about three times more expensive than the one I got on Amazon. So 
I would suggest buying it on Amazon unless you want to see it in person. Or I did notice that Yankee Candle had more colors and like design ones than Amazon did. And Amazon had mostly the um, plain colors. So that's something to consider. And then the other thing I got is something I've also been wanting. Um, it's a microphone for my phone. And I've been wanting this because although my phone picks up my voice quite well for vlogs, there are times that I have to speak quieter. Um, for example, if my mom is home and I'm in my room, I don't want to disturb her when she's working. Or like in the other vlog where I went to the art museum, it was a little hard to hear me. And I thought it would work for, uh, work well for the cruise and things like that. So this, it looks like it's a USB charger. It looks like it's a USB charger. So that's nice, easily charged. Um, I didn't realize it would have to be charged, but I guess that makes sense. Um, and then it's just this little guy that is, it does actually have a, a clip on it. So you could clip it, you know, on your lapel if you want to, but I figure I'll probably just hold it, um, or like clip it on maybe a jacket or something if I'm wearing one of those, depending on what I'm doing, because it's going to be kind of hard to clip it onto my clothes and have it not drive me crazy or anything so I figure I'll probably just hold it which is what I've been seeing most vloggers do with it is just hold it like a little microphone which is cool I've got the little power button at the bottom I don't even know if you can see that um and then it just plugs into my phone like this little thing so let's give it a try well that's unfortunate it doesn't work with the case on my phone and I will not have a phone without a case so I guess that's getting returned. So this wasn't a very good package opening. And I'm not very happy at the moment. I guess that means it's time to, I think I'm going to work on my cruise lists first. That way if, you know, the editing the vlog takes a little bit longer than I planned, it won't be a huge deal. I still wanna make sure I get in my evening routine tonight. Um, so I want to make sure I'm done with everything by nine and it is currently quarter to seven. So I have to get going and hope I can get in as much as possible done. And like I said, I could do a little bit of the vlog in the morning. And if you're wondering the reason I really want to do the cruise stuff today rather than during the week is because I have a pretty busy week because my mom is off all week. We are going to be running around in between me doing my work and just, you know, so much is going on. I don't want to leave it to the last minute and then have the weekend come up and have me not be prepared for when my best friend comes over. So we're gonna do that now. And I think I'm gonna get a cup of tea to enjoy because my throat is very, very sore for some reason. Um, quickly though, if you remember these from the other day when I, the other vlog when I um, went shopping, when I went on the beverage run, I've now tried the raspberry in addition to the strawberry and blackberry. Blackberry is okay, it's very bitter. Strawberry is good, but this raspberry, this country raspberry is the best flavor so far. It tastes like I am drinking a Jolly Rancher. That's how good it is. So I will definitely, definitely be getting the raspberry, probably even over getting more of the strawberry, believe it or not. So highly recommend the raspberry one. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea brewing do the return of this, so frustrating. And then we will get to working on our cruise list. Vlog is halfway edited, it's 9 p.m. I am exhausted, I keep yawning like every five seconds. So I think I'm gonna skip reading tonight and just go to bed because I don't even know if I can concentrate on it at the moment. So thanks for joining me on this absolutely insane Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped you be productive as well as you watched. And I will see you guys in the next one. I, at this time, do not know what the next one will be. So that's kind of exciting because I'm going to just figure it out. I'm going to just say, well, this is going to be an exciting day. So I'm going to record it because with my mom being home all week, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be going on. And I also don't know what my plans are for the weekend. There might be something worth vlogging on the weekend. So we shall see what the next one brings. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give it a big, big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already and you would like to, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button because there is so much more stuff coming from me. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays as of now. So I will see you guys in the next one. I am going to go to sleep and dream wonderful dreams. Good night.